We'll get going here with our warm up. We'll stand here nice and tall, feet apart. We'll take a deep breath in and out. And go with our head turns here, side and side. Good, and head forward, ear to the shoulder. Okay, we still have a really good group, good size group today. I got three messages right before time that people couldn't make it, so I'm glad we still have a good group. And let's go shoulder circles up, around, and back. Good. One more. And let's march your jog up to you. A little quicker if you can. Let's step apart, big arm circles back. And other side. And hands together, let's rock. And fold forward, open up. One more, hold it up there, pull down, reach up. One more. Cross it in front, kick back and pull. And turn it into your grapevine. And little mini side steps here or side shuffles, you decide. And big marches, get that good stretch in your hips. And butt kickers behind you. And heel toe walk here like you're walking on that tightrope. So heel on the way back. One more lap if you want to make it trickier, look side and side. And backwards. And relax. Good. All right. So we're on here for Tabata Tuesday. That's two exercises going back and forth between them. A little shorter timer. The uh, one of the two is a little bit more higher intensity than the other, getting our heart rate going a little bit more. So our first exercise, we're going to take a lighter set of weights. 
Um, I have fives, but I would say anything five and below would be great. You're going to take a reverse fly, but we're gonna switch it up a little bit. So we're taking our reverse fly. That means our hands start facing each other. We're in this slightly bent position. You've got your elbows slightly bent and you're opening behind you. So instead of coming up to the side like this, we're coming back. You get a good squeeze at those shoulder blades, like a big bird opening and closing its wings. We're gonna add a little kickback to that as well. So we're gonna go touch, touch. So we're getting a little bit of balance, a little bit more glute and hip work, as well as core work in there. We'll switch legs each time we do it. So I'll tell you to remember the leg that you're starting on. The second exercise that we're doing between those is ball slam. So fake ball slams. We're taking our pretend ball right here in front of us. Good wide squat stance. We take that ball up, bend our hips and knees and slam that ball through the floor. If you have any shoulder issues or you just don't wanna go overhead repeating, you can take it from the chest and go here, here, if you'd like. Everybody comfortable with those two? Yeah, awesome. All right, so we're starting with that reverse fly kick back. Ready, set, go ahead. Exercise one. So I know it looks like my leg is going at an angle, but it's straight back behind me. Good, you get that squeeze between your shoulder blades, each open. Three, two. One. And relax, good. We'll take our ball slams next. Remember which leg you were tapping. <laughs> we'll do the other next time. Two, one. Up Exercise and slam. Two. Big breath out each slam. Come down with a little force, a little speed. Take some power through that slam. Three, two. One. And relax. This time we'll take the other leg back as we do that reverse fly. So slightly Three, bent position. Two, one. Open Exercise and touch. One. Open and touch. Good, nice and steady. Good. Staying down there straight back. Three, two. One. And relax. We'll take our ball slams again. Good wide stance. Three, two, one. Up and Exercise slam. Two. Big breath out as you slam. Breathe in as you come up. Don't forget to breathe. <laughs> Three, two. One. And relax. Back to our first leg, first side on those touches. Three, two, one. Exercise one. Big breath out as you open, breathe in as you close. Keeping your back nice and flat here on this one. Don't let it arch. Good. Three, two. One. And relax. Back to our slams. Three, two, one. Exercise two. Three, two. One. And relax. Last side here. Three, two, one. Open and touch. One. Good. Nice. You should feel your ankles working, your hips working, core working a little bit. Three, two. One. And relax. Last one on our ball slams here. 
We'll give it all we've got. Three, Ready? Two. One. And go. Exercise two. Three, two, one. And relax. Good. All right. That was our first Tabata. Grab yourself a quick sip of water. Take a breather. I'll talk us through the next Tabata. I'm going to use the same set of weights. You could use a heavier set if you want to. It's up to you. We're taking a wide squat stance here with this first one. Toes are out. Knees are out. Our squat is gonna be a squat that goes down straighter than our regular squat. So I'm just holding these to get them out of the way to begin with, but my hips are gonna go straight down and up. So not our regular squat where we stick our tush back a little bit, but my hips are going straight down. We'll add in a little arms that look like this, up and down, up and down a little weird hoe down or some sorts. <laughs> We're keeping our elbows higher than our wrists. Just let your wrists hang and be heavy. Try not to like torque them up, but just let them be hanging and heavy. Okay, exercise two, we go into our jacks. You can go any form on your jack if you wanna protect your shoulders and stay low here, right here. Works your mid back really nice. Here's your next option with high arms touching out. And then, of course, for healthy joints and healthy spine, we've got this one here. Everybody comfortable? Yeah. All right. Let's do it. We're starting in that wide stance with your toes out, knees out, open posture there. Getting ready here in three, two, one. Go ahead. Exercise one. Good, just keep those wrists long and heavy. Three, two, one. And relax, good. We go into our jacks next. Three, two, one. And go ahead, you pick the jack that works for your body. Two, one. And relax. Back to our wide spot. Three, two, one. Here we go. Exercise one. Good. Knees are out. Hips go straight down. Good. Tall posture. Looks great. I know it's a weird one. <laughs> Three. Two, one. And relax. We're going back to our jacks here. Three, two, one. And go ahead. Two. Three. Two, one. And relax. Wide squat. Three, two, one. Here we go. Exercise one. Should feel this in your outer hips and inner thighs a little bit more so than our regular squat. And the tops of your shoulders. Three. Two, one. And relax. Three. Jack. Two, one. Go ahead. Exercise two. Three. Two, one. And relax. Last one here. 
Each one, one more time. Wide stance. Three, two, one. Here we go. Exercise one. Good, nice and tall here, open chest. I called this one a Dana move. It feels very Dana-esque if anybody knew Dana who worked with me. <laughs> and relax. <laughs> Three. Last one on our jacks. One. Here we go. Exercise two. Three, two, one. And relax. Good. All right. Grab yourself a quick sip of water. Take a breather. We'll get set for our next Tabata. I'm gonna use the same set of weights for this one. I didn't switch to a heavier one. This one is gonna add up on your shoulder. So just so you know, you can always start with a heavier weight and drop it down or drop it down to no weight if you need to, cause it's gonna add up as we go through it. So you're gonna start with your feet in a good stance position. Your arms are gonna be here. So I'm making 90-90 position here with each arm. Good open chest, but not extending my back, really tucking my core muscles in. From here, I'm gonna go in, press, down, out. In, press, down, out. As you get tired, it's gonna be tense. You're gonna to want to arch and kind of stick out your core and stick out your belly and arch at your back. So just keep everything tucked in and tight here. Your next exercise, you can either go into your fast feet where you're going light touches on your toes, or you can take that into a march if you needed to. Or your second option, harder option is your backboard taps. You're doing little taps like you're trying to touch the back of the backboard here. I'll never get there, but I'll keep trying. Everybody comfortable? Yeah, awesome. All right, so we're starting with that shoulder press. Getting ready with that arm position out here. Three, two, one, go ahead. Exercise See one. your muscles. <laughs> Three, two, one, rest. And relax, good. Going into our fast feet or our backboard taps here next. Two, one. And go ahead. Exercise two. I'm gonna float a little bit on my backboard taps. I'm in a step challenge and I was told I have to move. <laughs> move to get the steps. So I want them all to count. <laughs> Three, two, one. And relax. We're going back to those arms. Three, two. Arms here. In, one. press. It's a much safer position for us to press on the in part of this than on the out part of this there. If you've seen anybody pressing in that kind of open shoulder position, Three, two, much safer one. to be in. Press. And relax. Fast feet or backboard taps Three, here. Two, one. And go ahead. Exercise two. David's trying to rack up steps with me. He's going around the room. <laughs> Three, two, one. And relax. Barbara, would you repeat, please, what you said about safer to be in or something like that? Sure. So it's safer to press in the elbow in position than if, I'm going to pause for a second, if we press out like this, some people do shoulder presses like this, it's actually much safer to press in. Yeah, keep going. Three, two, 
three, sorry, two, one, and relax. Backboard tap three, for a fast speed. Two, one, Go ahead. Exercise two. Three, two, one. And relax. Last one of each. Three, two, one. Exercise one. Nice. Like a show me your muscles position. <laughs> Three, two, one, rest. And relax. Last one on our fast feet or backboard taps. Three, two, one. Here we go. Exercise two. Three, two, one. And relax, good, very nice. All right, we're gonna pause from our Tabata for a minute. We're gonna switch up our timer. Grab a quick sip of water. We're changing it up to an AMRAP flow here for four minutes. AMRAP means as many rounds as possible. I'm gonna give you four movements. We're gonna do eight repetitions of each movement and then repeat, 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 repeat. <laughs> so there's no rest. You just go through it at the pace that works for your body. We will all go on to a different flow and pace and just keep going. If you need to take a break, take a break, but the timer keeps going the whole time. The four movements are, I'm gonna take a slightly heavier set of weights. It's up to you if you want to. You're gonna bring your weights like this. You're gonna take a squat stance. We're gonna do eight squats. Eight squats. You got it. You're gonna take your weights in front of you. Feet are shoulder width um, position. We're gonna go eight hinges. Hips back, up tall. Hips back, up tall. Like you were trying to stick your tush out way back there against the wall behind you. Your next one is going to be presses. You're going to bring your weight up and you're going to press, press. If you don't want to go overhead, you can always go forward raise, forward raise right ahead of you if you need to, or if you need to adjust as we're going and it's getting hot, uh, hard, go ahead back to that forward raise. And then your last exercise is your curls, regular curls. I'll keep repeating the cycle the whole time. We will all get off onto our own pace, but is everybody comfortable? Yeah? All right. So it starts with eight squats. You've got your weights right here in front of your shoulders. Regular squats. Ready, set, go ahead. Eight squats. You'll go on to your hinges next when you're ready. Eight hinges, hips go back behind your heels like they're reaching for the wall behind you. Good, back stays nice and straight. Then eight presses. Then eight curls. And you go back to your squats when you're ready. Eight squats.
And eight deadlifts or hinges, hips back, hips forward. Then eight presses. Good, back is nice and flat on those hinges. After your presses, you're back to your curls. Good. Back to your squats after. Keep breathing. Guys are doing great. Squats, hinges, presses, curls. Guys are doing great. Take it at your pace. Squats, hinges, presses, and curls. a drink take a breather we're gonna get down on the floor here next is everybody okay to get down on the floor yeah I think this group is yeah yeah all right so we're going down on the floor we don't need any equipment break me down if you can <laughs> All right, I'm going to start to go over the first two movements. We're going to start with a um, Pilates movement. So we're going to go onto our back here, flat back. We're going to bring our feet together and our knees apart here for this position. Our feet together and our knees are apart. If you can, you can tuck your chin and lift your head here. We're going to pulse, 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 pulse as we keep our core muscles in. If that bothers your head and neck, you can leave your head and neck down. Just really tuck your core muscles in and pulse from here. Exercise two, we're gonna go side and side for some ankle grabbers. You can support your head and neck this way. Your feet will be flat. Tuck in your chin, lift, tuck your core muscles. Go side and side, side and side. Really using those side abs. If you don't need to support your head and neck, just tuck your chin, hands are down, go side, 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 side. Everybody comfortable? Yeah? All right, we start with those feet together, knees are apart, little pulses. Ready, set, go ahead. Exercise one. Good, tucking your chin and lifting up if you can, or leaving it flat if you need to. Core muscles are in, in, in for these little pulses. Woo. Exercise one. All right, never went. I'll stop it early, don't worry. Couple more seconds. 
and relax. Rest. All right, next one is our ankle grabbers. We're on track now. <laughs> Support your head and neck if you need to, or hands by your side. One. Side and side. Side and side. Keep breathing. Really use those side ab muscles here. Three, two, one. And relax. Yes. We'll go back to our feet together, knees apart. Three, two. Tucking one. in. Exercise. Pose, one. pose, pose. If you want to make it a little harder, bring those legs down a little bit or out a little bit, however you want to describe that. Three, two, one. And relax. Rest. Go back to our ankle grabbers side and side here. Three, two, one. Exercise two. Really tucking in those core muscles each side. Three, two, one. And relax. Rest. Back to our feet together. Three, two, one. Exercise one. Keep breathing. Three, two, one. And relax. Rest. Getting ready with our side and side motion here. Three, two, one. Exercise two. Three, two, one. And relax. Rest. Woo, one more of each. <laughs> Three. Should feel those two, core muscles. One. Exercise one. Three, two, one. And relax. Rest. Last one, side and side here. Three, two, one. Exercise two. Three, two, one. And relax. Rest. Woo, we made it. All right, let's reset here. We've got two more core exercises for our last Tabata, really working our core muscles at the end here. We're going for a slow bicycle. So we're gonna support our head and neck with our arms here. We're gonna to try to get our armpit going towards our knee. So we're not focused on the elbow because if we do the elbow, it's really gonna crunch us. If we go the armpit, it's gonna be much more open. So you can keep your feet flat like this if you like. And here, 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 focus on that armpit versus that elbow, getting a little less crunch of the spine. Or you can make it a really long bicycle. Either way, I want it to be a slow bicycle. So we're going for a long bicycle here and here, here and here. That's your harder option, nice and slow with these motions. So it's opposite to opposite. Exercise two, you can either take your core muscles in here and just march nice and controlled. Nice and controlled march is your easier option here. Core muscles are in, in, in. Or your harder option is we're going long legs, flutter, 
flutter, flutter. That one can really get your low back. If you're not really plugged in in your core muscles, it can get your low back. If you start to feel that, just reset and start again or take it a little bit slower. Everybody comfortable? Yeah? <laughs> awesome. All right, we're starting with that slow bicycle here in three, two, one, go. Exercise one. Good, opposites. Nice and slow. Keep breathing. Three, two, one. And Keep relax. Rest. Either controlled march on this next one or long legs. Three, two, one. Exercise two.
Good. Bring one knee into your chest. Tuck it in nice and close. Keep your shoulders relaxed. And switch sides. Good. Stretch your leg up, heel to the ceiling, pull your toes back. Couple deep breaths here. Good stretch behind your thigh. <laughs> Switch sides. Catherine, you have like a cat on your head. <laughs> Made me laugh when I looked. <laughs> Good, let's go into a figure four here. Cross one leg over, pull in. If that's not good for you, you can grab this knee and pull it across, up to you. Switch sides. Keep your shoulders relaxed here. Keep breathing. Good. Let's go on to our side. Grab hold of our toes or our laces or our heel or whatever we can get. Pull that leg back. Try to get your thigh in line with your body as best you can. I could stay in this stretch all day long. You guys can leave the rest. <laughs> Switch sides. Good. Make your way up to sitting here. Take your time. You can come all the way up to a chair if you feel like it. We'll roll our shoulders back. And take that big side reach over. Give it a little extra. Try to get those side abs in there. Good. Switch sides. And shoulder rolls back two times. Arm across your chest, nice and low. Good shoulder stretch. Keep breathing. Open up. Other side. Hands on your shoulders. Let's round out. Open up and stretch. Round out. Open up and stretch. Round out. Open up and stretch. One more. Round out, open and stretch. Good, elbows in, palms up, we rock. Nice and tall here, good posture. We go ear to our shoulder, you can give it a little tug. You can take this hand behind your back if you want a little extra. And nice and easy switch the other way. Good, and up nice and tall. Let's take our two deep breaths together. We'll breathe in and out and in and out 
excellent workout this evening. Thank you so much for joining me. I know it's tricky to get here in the evenings. I appreciate your effort. You guys are doing great.